that's one face down well one pair of faces down drill two at 22 nice not much of a tiny little step inside there maybe so it's slightly out of line but pretty good uh, happy with that I might not be able to hollow this I don't think I've got any tools that I can do it with so this is where we are put in the next three quarter inch Turn that on. And turning off the other end mostly. Uh, and turning the last little bit off when it's in uh, the R32 collet. So each one looks like it takes about half an hour each pair. So this is going to take about three hours total and an hour for turning and marking up the sphere so four hour project by the looks of things oh that's nicely on the line i'm trying to make sure that i'm getting I'm a, a, a consistent meeting point as i go around i want all of these faces to be the same diameter oh i'm also sanding up the pairs of faces as i do them in the collet chuck because it's going to be difficult to do that later on all right well just to show a bit of the process you i've got i've turned both sides flat left a, a 19 mil tenon on that end it's in the uh collet the r35 collet the r32 collet sorry then drill this end out which i have done i'm just going to clear the hole Then I can reverse that onto my mandrel, which at the moment is set at 18 for the last pair of holes, wherever they are. There. Um, so I've got to just quickly turn that down to 16. So I've had to do that from 22 to 20 to 18 and now to 16. Careful not to overshoot. Find your right hole, almost. Make sure the back flat so that you've got your registration surface. That should be fine. Oh, there it is. Bit more. I didn't tighten that up either. Just tighten that collet up. Bit of knock over shoot. Go. that's perfect now I can turn that end off and drill in from the other side sand those two faces flat and that's another pair of faces done yeah, as you can see the hexagons are starting the hex, pentagons are starting to form nicely just got two more faces to do I would have finished this today but I went down a big YouTube rabbit hole so it's taking a bit longer okay now just so I remember I deliberately turned an imperfect sphere for this 
it was up to about two millimeters out in some places um, because I wanted to use some of the uh, Timari um, correction techniques to position the points on the sphere on an imperfect sphere if you know what I mean there are techniques to do that I wanted to see how well that works and it looks like it's working well I've got one more pair of faces to do I've got to drill these two I've just put the tenons on that 19mm one the other one will be turned off when this is swapped over and drilled through um, something else I've, I haven't got the depth marks now because they've been turned away off every one of the last pair of faces so I'm going to have to go with the width in from the edge of the holes to the face if you know what I mean so I can mark it on the sides and get the right depth so yeah starting to look like a almost like a dodecahedron anyway very interrupted cut at the end of that I probably went a little bit too far there but it's okay um, so I've left these stubs on this the dodecahedron with the mortises which I could have done all that in one go and then turned the drilled the hole save a whole lot of belt changing on my lathe but still there we go <laughs> 